Hi everyone. In this video, I want to talk about integrating when you have two variables. So this is a topic that doesn't come up a lot, but let's just do some simple examples. So let's say you have something like um, x plus 3y, and you want to integrate this with respect to x. Okay, we're not going to put any limits of integration here. We're just going to jump in and do it. So here we have two variables and we're integrating with respect to x. So you integrate the x, so you simply get x squared over two. You put your plus sign. You integrate this, so you're integrating with respect to x, so you kind of pretend it's a constant. So you would simply get 3yx, because it's like 3y, so it's like a constant. And you have, you have your x, and then you have to add your constant of integration. So normally you would add a c, you would write plus c. Except in this case, um, you have a function of two variables. So what you do is you add an unknown function of the other variable. So because we integrated with respect to x, we have to add an unknown function of y. So I'm going to call it g of y. So this is like your arbitrary constant function. You might say, why do you do that? Well, check this out. Remember, to check your integration, you can differentiate this. So if I differentiate this to check my answer, I have to differentiate with respect to x. Let's do it. If you differentiate this, you get 2x over 2. You differentiate this, you're just going to get 3y. You differentiate this, you're going to get 0, right? So you just get x plus 3y. Super awesome. So that's why you have to add an unknown function of the other variable because there's infinitely many solutions to this anti, there's infinitely many antiderivatives, one for each choice of your unknown function. It's like in Calc 1 when you have the C, when you differentiate the C, it becomes zero when you check your answer. Here, because it's multivariable calculus, when you differentiate this, it goes away. Let's do it the other way. Let's do x plus 3y dy. So now we're integrating with respect to y. So in this case, we hold x constant. So we get xy plus, now we're integrating with respect to y, so it's plus 3y squared over 2 plus, and when you integrate with respect to y, you add an unknown function of the other variable. So plus, let's just call it h of x. I just gave it a new name. So when you integrate with respect to x, you add an unknown function of y. Integrate with respect to y, you add an unknown function of x. You could check your answer here. Let's do it. Differentiating with respect to y, we get x times 1, because that's the derivative of y. Okay, And then differentiating here, we get plus 6y over 2. Differentiating here with respect to y, we get 0, because it's a constant. Right? Well, it's a function of x, and so we treat it as a constant, so it goes away. So you get x plus 3y, and boom, look at that. Works every time. So one more time, when you differentiate with respect to x, you have to add an unknown function of y, differentiate with respect to y, add an unknown function of x. In general, when you have a multivariable function and you integrate with respect to one variable, and it's indefinite, which is not often the case, you add an unknown function of the other variable. So this mainly, I mean, it does come up in calculus three, but I noticed that this mainly comes up in like differential equations. So um, it does come up though. This will come up uh, when we study uh, potential functions. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. Take care.